Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. This is a concise, well-crafted summary and it highlights only the important keywords. Different uh, phases of the action potential. So first is the electronic potential. The electronic potential, the phase, this is caused by the passive addition of charge on membrane surface. Passive addition of the charge and this is on the membrane surface. Next, looking at the local potential. This is for opening up a few sodium channels. Next, looking at the depolarization phase of AP. This is the sodium influx. Sodium influx is for opening up many voltage many voltage created the sodium channels next is depolarization this is the phase of the ap and there is a potassium efflux potassium efflux means that the increase in the potassium exit from the cell and inactivation of the sodium channel or the sodium channels next comes after the hyperpolarization after the hyperpolarization of the action potential there is a slow return of the potassium channels. Slow return of the potassium channels to the closed states. So now let's look at something known as the Hodgkin cycle. Under the Hodgkin cycle, it is nothing but the opening of few sodium channels, leading to the further opening of other channels. Channels are also opened. This is known as the Hodgkin cycle. So this is an example of positive feedback control. Where the stimulus is triggered an event, where the stimulus it triggers triggers an event, further it facilitates the process. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.